All right, Xavier, just maybe talk a little bit about how you're feeling coming here for your the informal skates. Uh, feeling good. Uh, as everyone, like, I have a, a short summer, but a uh, very good summer. Uh, spent uh, most of the time in the gym in Montreal. Uh, I, I, I did what I need to do uh, to, uh, to get ready here to, uh, to have a big camp. Uh, you obviously decided to opt out of the World Juniors. Uh, maybe just talk about that decision and recovering from maybe a bit of a injury after a very long season with for you uh, I think for me it was uh, the best decision I think uh, with the others uh, we find uh, that it was better for me to spend my summer in the gym uh, if, if I was going there uh, I was just having uh, two uh, two weeks of workout in the summer but uh, for sure I like, uh, it's I, I had the experience in the in December but uh, yeah I think uh, for me it was uh, to be ready for my first pro year uh, there's been a lot of talk from both the GM and the head coach that uh, there's an expectation that the youth really start pushing for roster spots. Uh, how have you prepared in order to maybe be one of those guys pushing for a spot on the roster next year? Uh, I don't want to th think about it too much. Uh, I just want to be ready and um, make their decision in order to and uh, just push for a spot. Uh, if it's in the Bakersfield or uh, in Minton, I'll be ready. And I just want to play my game and uh, push for a, a spot here in Minton. And Xavier, maybe talk just about um, you know the switch from junior hockey to pro. Just how how you feel about the transition? Do you think it's going to be a little bit more required of you, and just maybe the the, the little differences between junior and pro? I think uh, in pro hockey, everyone's like very good. It's uh, we play with men here. Uh, everyone's stronger, faster. I think the pace will be quicker. Yeah, you need to think quicker too. Uh, but I think I have a, a good summer and be ready for it. Maybe just talk about some of the other guys you're skating with here this week. Um, you got Dylan Holloway here on the ice with you after the skate. Just maybe talk about you know some of the guys that that you're sharing the ice with this week, and you know some of the talent that you see. Uh, it's pretty fun to uh, to be here with the guys, practicing with them. Uh, uh, Leon is coming to uh, last last day, so it's pretty fun to see uh, him and the other guys that that I met at the last camp at the development camp. Then they're like uh, this year I come earlier, two weeks earlier before the camp, just to make sure. Uh, I'm uh, ready to uh, to hit on the ice here and uh, have a, a, a good rookie camp. Does it still feel a little surreal to share the ice with a guy like Dry Seidel? You know, it's it's preseason or it's way before the preseason. Just how how cool that must feel to get to share the ice with a guy like that. Yeah, it's pretty impressive to to see those guys. Uh, I mean, uh, him and the other guys are everyone's good. I mean, uh, yeah, when you have the chance to practice with them, uh, talk with them, and learn uh, the experience they had in the pro hockey, it's always good uh, for a young player like me.